But to be the man, you got to beat the man. Woo! For more than 165 years, English football has been bringing people together, providing a sense of community and a sense of being a part of something bigger, giving people an identity and a pride in their club and local area. The beautiful game was born and raised here in the UK. Sheffield FC, the first ever football club. The world's first football association formed here in London. The first football league, our league, set up in 1888. And in 1992, the arrival of the Premier League, now the world's foremost domestic club competition. But despite that heritage, despite the success of football at home and abroad, we have also seen the devastating impact on a community when the name of their beloved football club disappears from the league tables. We've seen it too many times. I grew up in Bury. Like millions of fans across the country, I got my passion for football from my local club. So I understand the sense of loss that people feel when a local institution is taken from them. So what people say, they, they don't realise how people think about the club. Okay. No, I, I'm absolutely devastated. That's why something's got to be done to protect the game as we know and love it, to preserve the spirit and soul of the game, to make sure the future of football is as glorious as the past. And above all, that it is protected for the people that care most about it. Because football is nothing without the fans. My name is Richard Timms, I'm chairman of Sheffield FC, the world's first football club. When the Sheffield Rules were written in 1857, um, there, were, there were other laws of the game, and Cambridge University also had a set of laws uh, which were later adopted by the FA. I mean, if you read them th uh, through, they're very, very similar. Uh, but in the Sheffield Rules, uh, number one, it says, we shall kick off from the middle, which obviously is exactly the same as today. Each team shall play with a red cap or a blue cap, which of course, when there were no kits, is the forerunner of kits. Uh, and we have a newspaper report from 1863 that said Sheffield shall play by 11. Little old Sheffield FC, some guys might have played for it, but really the city has been obsessed with Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United. And I, I thought, you know, there is a Premier League that's now the biggest league in the world of washed with money, and it all started with this tiny little football club with one team. And I really thought there has to be more to it than that. Run your finger along a list of Premier League towns and cities and there's a glaring omission. Sheffield. The Steel City has a rich football heritage and the only Premier League city with a bigger population is London. Sheffield has a population of around 558,000 and its total metropolitan area is 1.6 million, making it the third largest English district by number of people. That statistic frames Sheffield's underachievement as a football city with just 13 major trophies won by its two professional clubs, United and Wednesday. But its links to football date back to 1857, when Sheffield FC, the oldest club still in existence, were formed. We're on the pitch, in the middle of Sheffield FC's current home, the coach and horses in Dromfield. A strange fact is the world's oldest football club up until 2001 had never had its own permanent home. It had played a nomadic career all over the city, so we moved here and put down our first roots. And we have a plan, we have a plan to move back into the city shortly and rebuild a stadium on the original field that football started. Now the world's oldest football club, Sheffield FC, wants to come home. For the last 15 years, they've been playing in North Derbyshire, but now they have a chance to return to their birthplace near the city centre. They need to raise £2 million to make it a reality and they're hoping other clubs will help them. If you 
are one of the people that love football. Then you can make this the home of football. It's amazing to think that the biggest game in the world, the game that we all love, started in the very place I am stood, on this green field in Sheffield. Support the world's first, because without Sheffield FC, football as we know it simply would not exist. In 1857, two gentlemen took a walk on this very field, looking for a new game to keep themselves fit in the winter months. That game became football. They developed an original set of rules. This rule book here explains about kick off from the middle, first corner kick, free kick. Teams shall play in red cap or blue cap and later by 11 a side. This was the start of the modern game of football that the world loves today. Hi. We want you, the global football supporter, to join our crowdfunding campaign and help Sheffield FC move back to Olive Grove, to level the playing field, to build a small stadium where football began. Every little pound helps. Being the world's first football club means that we have the, uh, the global audience. I've played against Inter Milan, Ajax, you know. Um, we've been all over the world, you know, we're invited out to play against um, other teams and you know, no other non-league football club can, you know, can vouch for that. Everyone in the area is like very passionate about the club. When I first walked through the doors, you know, 12, 13 years ago as a player, um, you, you know there's something special here. I'm the football manager of this great club really. When the club advertised for a new manager, I got in contact, the rest is history. My role was to keep us in the league last year. It was a tough task, but we managed to stay up by Skinner's teeth. The chairman's backed me in the off-season to recruit players, players that I know, that I've seen, that I've got relationships with, that will be really good at this level. Now, that's not always a guarantee that they're going to be good at this level, but I put my trust in them and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, my role at the club is assistant manager, stroke player. I've been here, this is my sixth season. Working with Ryan is a, an ideal opportunity for me at this minute in time. So we've got a lot of experience together at different levels. I can see us progressing as a pair, but ideally with Sheffield Club. This is the big one. This is what pre-season set you up for today. They're expecting us to come out playing. All right, like last week, okay, we need to be going out first 20. Good warm up, all right, <coughs> and bang back these. I believe that this squad in here can do what we've f discussed already. You're all a part of it today. Let's go. This playing squad that I've put together now is a reflection of me, which is hard working, honest, aggressive, and a winner. So I'm looking to add success to the club name. Hi, I'm Joe Maguire, played for Sheffield Club, my centre half. I always wanted to play for Sheffield Club because my dad played for us uh, for years when he was younger. You'd like to see the club progressing a bit higher. I think that's what Cres is trying to do this year. We've signed quite a few good players. Hopefully we have a chance at top six this year. Me and my coaching team, the way we approach every session and every game is with ultra professionalism. And that is a shock to some of these players because they're not being used to it. They're seeing me give it everything and I think that that's like well hold on if he's doing this then we've kind of got to make sure that we up our game. Look how wrong you can be